So everybody wants to know why Stanford is now the most sought after university in America, arguably the world. You guys have all seen the record low acceptance rate for this year's class of 2018. But nobody's really asking the students themselves whether they actually find what they're looking for. And yes, we find the perfect weather, the beautiful campus, the amazing football team, all those things. But in reality, we don't necessarily find a perfect education waiting for us at the farm. Maybe it's a little provocative to say in this audience, and honestly, I was a little bit disappointed until that magical moment when I think each of us realized in our own way that the point was not to receive a great education, but to create our own and to shape it for the unique challenges that await our generation in a world that's more complex, uncertain, and connected than ever before. So now when I think about why Stanford is the most sought after higher education, I think it's because Stanford students have sought out with the guidance and support of the university to redefine higher education for the 21st century, to make it more interdisciplinary, hands-on, and a real world. And the real world is noticing those results. So there are all kinds of examples all around campus, but I'm just gonna show three examples of project-based learning from my own experience studying civil engineering and architectural design. See, my magical moment came in sophomore year when I took a class called the AEC Global Teamwork Project, in which students from all around the world formed interdisciplinary teams to tackle hypothetical but comprehensive building designs. This was my team from 2011, representing two continents and four time zones. What did we learn? None of us could do it alone. But most importantly, not even our professions could do it alone. And yet the industry is full of silos, islands of knowledge, <coughs> fragmented process from architect to engineer to contractor. The new paradigm is integrated project delivery, in which all disciplines are represented at the very beginning of the conceptual design phase, so that together we can work out the kinks way before they become a cost to the client or the environment. So this is exactly the kind of learning experience that we were immersed in, and which will also be the work experience in industry, which led to the, the real reason I think we were so successful as a team, because we didn't see it as a classroom assignment. We saw it as training for our futures. And that also meant that we could shape what that future was, and will be, uh, through experimentation and innovations like building information modeling, cloud-based computational tools, and even virtual reality environments in which we could collaborate in real time from thousands of miles apart and even experience our building design as it was being conceived. It was a magical moment for me because I realized for the first time that I was no longer a student, I was my own teacher. And it meant that I could also not have to get into industry to begin to change it. So I had the interdisciplinary experience, but I was craving the hands-on, which led to my next project, Stanford's first ever entry into the US Department of Energy's Solar Decathlon Competition. It was a student-initiated project, and over the span of two years, I led a team of over 100 students, many of whom had never held a hammer in their lives, to design, engineer, and build a 1,000-square-foot net-zero solar-powered home right on campus, right by where the old terminal building used to be, after which point we took it apart, put it on trucks, shipped it down to Southern California on five 50-foot trailer beds, at which point we put it back together and, over eight days and competed against 19 other teams on contests ranging from architecture to affordability. We ended up actually winning first place in affordability and fifth place overall. Thank you. <laughs> but I, I didn't even really care about that because we, we didn't stop there. I mean, the real world impact was that we brought the house back to Sanford campus, Jasper Ridge Biological Preserve, where right now, this picture was taken about a week ago, the park ranger and his family are happily living inside and where the house will remain a visiting uh, researcher and scholar residence for decades to come. Can't get any more hands on than that. So next, inevitably for me, was the real world because I was burnt out at this point. So I actually took a gap year and for the past eight months, I've been traveling 23 countries in Europe uh, and actually reconnecting with a lot of those European colleagues of mine from the AEC Global Teamwork Project. Ironically, in what was supposed to be a vacation, I started a company and it was a design practice in which many of us are now uh, applying our global interdisciplinary approach to real client projects from London to Los Angeles. But before I go too deep dive into my career, I'm back at Stanford getting my master's um, and in a full circle, my practice is now organizing our own project-based learning experience. It's called GUDP, and it's a lot like the class we've taken together, except we're focusing on the political, economic, and social factors that affect urban developments long before the shovel hits the dirt. Most importantly, we wanted our students to have a real client and a real challenge. So for that, I enlisted the help of my good friend and colleague, Michael Tubbs, class of 2012, youngest council member at the city of Stockton, California, and he wanted 
our students to have strategic solutions to fix his District 6, which is a neighborhood of long standing urban blight, drugs, violence, crime, you name it, it's a problem there. And it's a kind of place that even professionals don't like to get involved with. But knowing Stanford students and our peers around the world, seeing the way that we think outside the bubble and the way, to paraphrase one of my favorite quotes, we don't let the classroom get in the way of our education, I wouldn't be surprised if some of the best ideas from this project end up becoming real world solutions, like those of many GUDP projects to come. Because like I said, to each her or her own education, and mine has only just begun. Thank you.